Hello my dear friends and welcome to my YouTube channel The Learning Viber. So today we are going to learn about the lean tool which is known as cellular manufacturing. So in detail we are going to learn about what exactly is cellular manufacturing and how we can implement this lean tool in our organization. So to start with let us understand the precept of the video. Here you are going to learn about what is cellular manufacturing, what are the objectives, how we can implement cellular manufacturing, then what are the different layouts for cellular manufacturing, and at last we are going to study about different benefits and challenges of cellular manufacturing lean tool. So without wasting a single minute, let us start the video. So now let us first understand what is meant by cellular manufacturing. So before going into depth, this is one of the photo, my dear friends. What you can observe here? Yes, my dear friend, you can observe that uh, the arrows are moving. Arrows are moving to the uh, sequence. Uh, arrows are moving to number one to two, two to three, three to four. But uh, these numbers are not aligned sequentially. It is very mismatch form, which is very haphazard format. So it is very difficult to move the pieces from one to two, two to three, three to four. So it is very crisscross manner. If we if we prepare a proper layout uh, like this, uh, so the, how how this layout is very effective. My dear friends, here you can see that there is a particular in point, uh, input point of the layout and particularly output point of the layout and the pieces or the production or anything will move very smoothly, very efficiently through the process. So this is nothing but the cellular manufacturing. So whatever photo you are seeing after photo, this concept is nothing but the simple uh, cellular manufacturing concept uh, where we have to make the cells, uh, where we have to create the workstations uh, and that workstation deals with uh, some specific task uh, and operation and then they will pass the uh, pieces to next operation. So like uh, if uh, a shirt has to be prepared, okay, so station number one will receive the raw material from the uh, raw material that is fabric and then station number one will perform some operation over it and then it will pass to station number two. Station number two will perform different operation then it will pass to station number three. Like that at, at station number eight uh, we will get the output cert uh, which will have completing operation. So we, so instead of going in the crisscross layout uh, we, have, we, have, we have designed a very simple U-shaped layout uh, and this is nothing but the cellular manufacturing and the pieces can be moved very easily. So, in cellular manufacturing, the production process is organized in self-contained workstation. As I already told you, it is managed in a simplified workstation format where it is very easy to handle the specific set of tasks and operation. So, if you will, if you will see, it it simply consists of very few machines. Uh, very very few machines sometimes it may be a single machine also that is dedicated to produce a particular part or component cellular manufacturing aims to group similar operations together and reduce the amount of non-value added movement of features and materials so simply what is the aim of a cellular manufacturing need to this to combine the similar operation together whatever similar operations are there for producing the products we can combine it together in a one workstation and then we can cover up all the operations there and then we can pass the uh, uh, then we can pass the material to the next operation. This is the simple concept of cellular manufacturing. Now let us understand what are the objectives of cellular manufacturing. Why should we go for uh, this lean tool? So it uh, minimizes the setup time. It also helps uh, to maximize your efficiency, productivity, as well as also helps to minimize and control the blue IP that is work in progress. It also helps to increase the flexibility and smooth, smooth, smooth flow to your layout. Of course, it will definitely help in improving your quality. Also to reduce your lead time and to maximize, to optimize your machine utilization, machine efficiency. And at last, it will enhance the working environment of your organization. These are the, some of the important objectives. That's, uh, that's the reason why we are going for lean uh, tool, lean tool of cellular manufacturing. Hope you have friends. 
Now let us understand how we have to implement this lean tool. For successful implementation of cellular manufacturing, it simply involves uh, first we have to identify a proper product category, then we have to create the work cells, uh, workstation. As per our product, uh, as per as per the criticality of our products, uh, we have to create different work cells uh, and we have to establish the standard work procedure, like that is SOP. Then we have to display the SOP of that particular workstation and in the same in the same workstation, the same operation has to be done and then it is passed to the next of, of workstation. So this is the simple steps that we have to follow for implementing this lean tool. Next, we are going to study about uh, what are different layouts. Layouts is very very important in this lean tool. So here, what is the layout design? Layout design, an effective cellular layout is characterized by close proximity of workstation. If you want that your, your layout should be very effective, then you should take care that uh, they should have very close proximity. All the workstations should be designed, uh, layouted in such a way that they are close to each other, which will have minimum material movement and clear workflow part. Uh, material movement should be as low as possible and it should have a clear work part. This layout fosters a production smooth smooth production flow and reduces non-value added activities. So this is the importance of layout design and effect. What are the characteristics to, to be followed for an effective layout? So here I will discuss some of the important layout types. That is first is I-shaped layout. It is nothing but simple linear cell layout where the machines are arranged in linear order. Second is u shaped layout. As in the initial initial slide, I have, in, in the introduction of the cellular manufacturing, I have shown you after image. That after image is nothing but u shaped layout. Next is o shaped layout. This is also known as a cage layout because it is also very similar to the u shape. Next is t shaped layout. Here, uh, products needs to be slightly specialized in this normal. So here T shapes are designed in the pattern which will have converging or diverging flow material. And the last is S shaped layout. Here this layout is used when you want to work around obstructions of or irregularities on the soft flow and you still want to implement cellular manufacturing. If you are going with this then you can go for S shaped layout. Next, we are going to study what are the different benefits of cellular manufacturing. Of course, it includes uh, like reducing the setup time, improving the inventory, lowering the inventory level, increasing productivity, efficiency, quick response to changeover. These are some benefits of cellular manufacturing. Then what are the challenges of cellular manufacturing? Uh, it requires high setup cost. Uh, it has very complex logistics to handle with uh, as well as very complex scheduling. It has very limited flexibility and it is very, very difficult to monitor. These are some of the challenges for implementing the, the uh, cellular manufacturing. And at last, thank you. That's all for this video. Hope you have understood about cellular manufacturing. It is one of the simple concepts. If you have any doubt, please put it in the comment section. I will reach out to you. That's all. Till then, like, follow and subscribe my YouTube channel, The Learning Wife. That's all. Thank you. Keep learning.